different. Oh, <laughs> but he's decided that he would like to eat a meadow vole. This uh, particular mouse is a wild caught meadow vole. My son Andy captured it, and uh, I got two more thawed out. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, videotape uh, Colonel, my milk snake. I think it's an albino milk snake. This has a wonderful coloration. He's been in, uh, well, his uh, predecessors have been in captivity for probably 20, 30 years or more. You can notice he is locating, dislocating his, well, I call it dislocating his jaw so that he can swallow his prey item in a manner that is uh, very snake-like. It's what makes uh, snakes very interesting to uh, many of us people that have them as pets is this eating capacity. Uh, they can swallow things that are huge in one gulp, sort of. It's not a fast gulp, but it is uh, a gulp never nevertheless. Um, he weighs over 700 grams now, and uh, I'm going to do a feeding video. I'm going to offer him an additional uh, an additional meadow vole. <laughs> There's another one that my son caught. Actually, his uh, cats catch them, and as uh, they uh, are caught, the cats bring them into the house, and he doesn't really like them in the house. And I said, well, my corn snake would love to have those meadow voles, Andy. And so uh, he's given them to me. You can sort of see their little teeth. They live in the tall grass that uh, surrounds his house. He mows it uh, every two weeks or so, and uh, but it's not quite often enough to prevent the grass from growing to a length that uh, the meadow voles uh, find advantageous to their lifestyles. But when the cats come out, they eat them. They catch them, they bring them in the house to show Andy what a great job they've done, and uh, he takes them away from the cats because, well, look at, uh, because he knows that I would like to have them to feed to my corn snake. Sometimes I feed my corn snake uh, a he he should be grabbing it at the head because he has a choice. Oh, there he goes. He uh, grabbed this meadow vole at the head from the side. However, because of how snakes have evolved or sn how snakes are, I think how snakes are. Uh, they will know which uh, end of the meadow vole is the most advantageous for him to start at. Now my camera is at about uh, six inches from the uh, colonel's uh, head. I'm not zoomed in at all. And it's just... Uh, little Kodak camera, little waterproof video photo camera that I have. Play Sport, I think is the name of it. But it allows me to uh, capture the action of uh, my uh, three-year-old uh, corn snake eating. This is sort of like a feeding video. 
I think I'm going to reach over here and grab my third metal vole and I'm going to lay it down right behind kernel process. Right now I sort of wish that I had a fourth and fifth metal vole thawed out uh, for kernel to uh, my corn snake to eat on. It looks like his third metal vole is just going to go down at 11 minutes and 30 seconds into this video. I uh, am having some trouble with uh, downloading some of my videos on to YouTube, but uh, I'll just have to either shorten this one or do what I have to to uh, make it work. 12 minutes. Uh, one of my uh, programs only allows me to download a 10 minute YouTube a video at a time and uh, I uh, have gone over that 10 minutes a frozen thawed meadow vole corn snake. Corn snakes make absolutely the very best pet snake that exists in the pet trade. If there's a better snake to keep as a pet than a corn snake I really would love to have someone tell me what it is. Uh, they live at room temperatures in a normal household temperature. 70 to 90 degrees is absolutely acceptable to them and they are just fabulous. They eat a wide variety of food and uh, they my uh, corn snake is not vicious whatsoever. I have, however, heard of uh, corn snakes that are not friendly, that are not, that have more of an attitude uh, kind of snake. I, I don't know if this is something that is detectable at birth, you know, but I strongly recommend buying a, a corn snake that if you do purchase one, instead of catching one wild uh, that you purchase one that has a very mellow attitude towards other towards people and that is not the kind of snake that will be uh, vicious and that will you know feel resentful towards being owned or being held in captivity my corn snake absolutely uh, does not have any resentment that I can determine from being in captivity. Here Colonel, my corn snake, has eaten three meadow voles for the camera at 15 minutes. This concludes this video. If you like it, give them a thumbs up. If not, eh, maybe you like to watch something else on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Mm, I think he's actually looking for more food. <laughs> I will see. He swallowed that uh, metal vole down into his stomach. Oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> he's got a little bit bigger around the midsection. I'm going to put him back into his 